Hi, I'm Peter Sheeple, and I make all sorts of flying things and crazy contraptions on my YouTube channel. Oh no! It's okay, it's okay, we can fix it, we can fix it. This is Sailor Versus, a series where other creators and I test our skills to see if we have what it takes to be in the Navy. And today, I'm going head to head in an engineering competition against aviation machinist mate Caleb DeFridis to see what it's like to work with the most advanced aircraft engines around the world. Hey Caleb, it's nice to see you. Unfortunately, you know, we, I couldn't be there in person, but hey, it's nice to have you here on this video call. Hi Peter, thanks for having me on. I'm looking forward to talking to you. Hey Caleb, do you mind telling me what an aviation machinist mate does in the Navy? Well, aviation machinist mate, or AD, we inspect, maintain, and repair engine components and aircraft. But the AD mission is to send aircraft flying and bring them back safely. So hey Caleb, thanks for giving me some hands-on training like working on this module. It's really cool because I've never really had anything like this to play with before. What was your first impressions of the combustion module? My first impression of this thing is like, it's really heavy, it's got a lot of metal, it seems very expensive, and uh, yeah, it's a big part. Generally, how long does it take to do a full like teardown of the combustion module? It takes about an hour and a half to break it down, another hour to put it back together, but with just the st three steps. How long do you think it'll take you? Uh, I'd probably say just for the three steps of taking the ring out, I'd probably say we could probably I could probably have it out in like five minutes and probably take about six more minutes to put it back in. A close estimate. Well, Peter, we sent you this component from F-18 to challenge you in a combustion module speed test. Challenge accepted. To disassemble, we will unscrew the bolts, pry up the jack and screws, and lift the INS. All right, Peter, time for disassemble. Are you ready? Uh, I guess so, let's go ahead and do it. <laughs> So right now, I'm just removing the bolts. Let's take these out. I'm going, I'm going. I don't have that fancy uh, wrench you got. Right now, I'm just removing the bolts out. And after that, we're jacking it up. I kind of like halfway did take some of them out, and halfway just didn't. If they got stuck inside the driver, I just pulled them out. Okay, right now I'm just uh, jacking the INS seal out. I'm almost there. Where you at? Nah, I'm not there yet. I'm almost, I'm almost at that stage. I gotta take all this out now. I dropped one of the bolts inside the stator. Hang on, I gotta take this thing apart or try to get this bolt back out. It went inside the grid. Okay, cool, it fell out. And removing the seal. It doesn't get stuck. Nope, I'm hit a snag. Nope. <laughs> and I'm done. Almost there. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> nice job, Peter. How did you? Uh, I fumbled a little bit. I was not high speed enough, but I think it was okay. Yeah, I also fumbled getting the seal out, but it's a good job. Well, cool. Yeah, I wish I had one of those fancy speed wrenches. I don't. I only got this little driver thing here. So what type of adjustments did you make with your tools? Well, I just got this this driver thing. I just stuck this on here, but I suppose you just spinning it out of my fingers, so my hands kind of cramping up just a little bit. So now that we're going into the assembly, what adjustments are you gonna make? Probably nothing, just go as fast as I can possibly go. All right, cool, good job on the disassembling. Are you ready for the assembly? Yep, I'm ready for it, let's do it. To assemble, we will set the INS, align the holes, and screw the bolts back in. I'm getting ready to put the ring back in. I just backed the um, jack screws out and dropped it in. Dropped it in. It's all lined up. I put the screws back in. Just got a handful of uh, bolts and slide them in. I can start to tighten them up. I'm almost there. Where you at? Uh, I'm probably like 80% of the way there. 
80 percent of the way there oh wow i'm halfway then i gotta speed it up got a few more now i can tighten down a little bit more now that they're all snug All right, well, I guess I'm technically done. They're in. I just, there's not torqued down to any torque specs, so I don't know. They're just in there. That's, that's about it. <laughs> All right, so that's been a lot of fun. You definitely beat me both times. Like, I think you just got a lot of hands-on experience and, you know, I haven't done this before, so that's pretty cool. OJT, with on-the-job training, you can be the best you can be. So that was really impressive. You actually did give me a run for my money, so I had to speed it up a little bit, but you did a good job. All right, very cool. <laughs> but. You think you can put that back together? Oh man, that's gonna take some time. I probably need a, a, bit, a little bit of a hand with that one. So Peter, you did a really good job breaking this down and putting it back together, but to actually work on this whole component, it's about 20 some, 25 steps. And for the three steps that we did, you did really good. Yeah, like the first three steps are really not that bad, but if we really dismantle this thing, I think we'll be here for a while. It is a pretty complicated procedure from what I've figured out, but it doesn't seem too hard to learn, at least once you practice it enough. And also, thanks for the tips with my jet and getting that to work. That was awesome. I'm glad all that stuff worked out. Great job, Peter. Maybe next time we can have you out to the ship, you can do a full engine build. Hey, I'm looking forward to it. it sounds like a challenge. All right, so that was a lot of fun taking that combustion module apart. It was a really interesting challenge. I still got kind of whooped, but I don't really use these tools on a daily day basis, so that kind of makes sense. And also, mega thanks to the Navy for making this possible. So let me know how you guys think I did in the comments below. Do you think I did good or bad? And if you want to see more, click the link to see more Sailor vs. Series. Thanks again. I'll see you guys later. From FA-18 Hornet, and I'm going to forget my lines. <laughs>